Hi, my name is John Ortigo. I'm the owner of Parkside Pharmacy here in Land Park in Sacramento, California. What I think really sets us apart from other pharmacies in the area is this very clean, state-of-the-art compounding lab. It was very important when designing this new pharmacy in 2009 that we have adequate space and the proper equipment to build a compounding practice to a modern standard of excellence. It has also been very important to acquire and constantly develop the best staff of pharmacists and technicians. From the initial selecting and intake of supplies and chemicals to the final output of finished preparations, the process undergoes perpetual continuous quality improvement with multiple checks and verifications along the way. Take the process of making a compounded cream, for example. We start with the highest quality of chemicals available in the industry, each with their own C of A certificate of analysis. In accordance with a very specific and detailed formula, they are weighed carefully with the weights being recorded and checked by a pharmacist. The APIs, active pharmaceutical ingredients, are then wetted or solubilized before being added to the ointment, cream, or gel base designated to that formula as most appropriate for the patient and desired therapeutic endpoint. The EMP, electronic mortar and pestle, thoroughly mixes and creates uniformity. Then the cream is run through an ointment mill to further reduce particle size, which will optimize absorption and make for a smooth and pharmaceutically elegant final preparation. After ointment milling, the preparation is again mixed with the EMP to assure perfectly even mixing and uniformity. Last, the cream is dispensed to a container which will best aid the patient in easily and accurately using the compounded preparation. Mixing dry powder ingredients is aided now by this most recent development in compounding, the RAM, Resonant Acoustic Mixer. The RAM uses low frequency, high intensity acoustic energy combined with high acceleration to rapidly mix powders. This is critical for consistency and uniformity when those powders are next encapsulated by the technician's expertly trained hands. As part of the CQI process, random samples are collected of each of the various dosage forms our technicians and pharmacists prepare. Those samples are sent to an outside third party lab for analysis of potency and uniformity. The pharmaceutical industry standard is such that the tested potency must fall within the range of 90 to 110 percent of the stated and labeled potency. At Parkside, we have adopted a higher standard. If the tested potency falls outside of the range of 95 to 105 percent of the targeted potency, that batch is considered rejected. We want the doctors we work with and the patients we serve to know they are receiving the best treatment available in the industry. Hopefully from this video you have gained a little better understanding and appreciation for what all goes into compounding and just how seriously we take our roles in the delivery of the service we provide. Once again, I'm John Ortigo from Parkside Pharmacy. Thanks for letting me show you around.